Hello guys, welcome back. Another day, another huge case of large language model. And in this case, there is a new library called Pandas AI, which can be used to create even charts out of the natural language processing. Before I created a video about chat CSV, where you can upload your CSV and then have conversation with that using Langchain. Before that also, I created a video about AI code writing assistant for pandas. But the good part of this pandas AI is that it can even create charts out of it. One of my subscribers actually asked the question in my last video about chat CSP if there is a way how we can create charts from the text that we keep into the model. And yeah, there is the new library as it appeared here. So I will go through the library and show you how quickly you can interact with your data. Let's get started. Okay, so what is Pandas AI? So it is a Python library that adds generative artificial intelligence capabilities to Pandas. So what is Pandas? It is the popular data analysis and manipulative tool. Here is a very simple demo. So I just take the demo from their official GitHub repo. But before that, I just want to say that I created the video just last video about chat CSV where you can upload the data behind the scene. It is using pandas anyway. And there is also the thing called sketch library, which I made the video a month or so earlier, which actually uses the similar approach. I will just show you how it works. You can go through the video and see how it works. But mainly what they are saying here is AI code writing assistant that understand the data content. And here they actually have the three different kind of things you can ask. So it is a basic question answer system on the sketch. So you can ask, okay, what is as shown here, which columns are integer types and so on. So it goes through the data and provides you the answer. And another good part of this is also that you can ask it to generate the code for you. How it works is just that you need to attach the dot sketch after the data frame. And you can just park how to and there is ask and there is apply. So you can go through this and see how you can achieve the good things out of this. But this one actually doesn't provide you the charts. So that is the reason why I'm going to show you the new one today, which actually provides the chart also. So for that, what you need to do first, you need to, of course, set up the environment. You need to install. I have already done this and then you need to import the necessary classes. Now they have actually supported OpenAI and they also say that they want to support many other large language models and also provided the code for Open Assistant, but it doesn't seem to work. I will show you how it looks like currently. What I'm doing here is I'm just creating a data frame. So I can just run this command. It will create a data frame and I can just run this shell, which will print the data frame. As you can see here, this is just the sample demo from their GitHub repository. As you can see here, it is just the example from here. And the good part is that they are actually going to add support for more large language models. They are going to create a CLI for Pandas AI and also a wave interface. It's really going to look really good in the future. Let's see how it progress. This is this is in the early stage. So when you watch this video, maybe all of these things might be already appeared. So what can we do now? First, you need to have the hogging face token if you want to use the open assistant or you just need the open AI API keys. You can go to these links. If you don't have the account, please create the account and you just need to replace your API key on this part here and here anywhere you want. I have already done that. So now let's go and see, okay, pandas with open assistant. As I said you before, it is not working currently, but let's see how it works, right? It's good because if there is other large language model support, then you don't need actually need to pay because for open AI, you need to pay some fee for using their API. But for hugging face, we don't need to pay it and we can use all the different libraries. And by the way, if you are new to hugging face, I have created a crash course with mostly no code kind of things. So you get the high level understanding of what hugging face is. I will provide the link in the description. Please feel free to watch that. After you pass the API keys, we need to instantiate the pandas AI with the provided large language model. Let me first go and see with this open assistant. So if I run this command here, it will throw the error as I said you before because it is somehow not working correctly and they are planning to fix this. 
let me just close this for now now let's go and see how we can do this with the open ai as i said before i have already provided the api key of open ai so what i can do here now is i can just go here and instantiate the pandas ai and pass the large language model open ai and yeah that's all and d of is the data and i can just ask the questions now on top of that particular data so what is the sum of the gdps of the two unhappiest countries right so if i just ask this question it is going to look to the data and then find the sum of the gdp of the two unhappy country but by the way if you see here it does not provide the answer right so this is what large language models are you need to actually provide some kind of questions in different format or sometimes it works sometimes and it doesn't work sometimes so instead of this let me go and see here run the next command here let me run this if it runs or not so it's going through the data and yeah based on the information it provides the information right let us try one more thing pandas ai.run i'm looking for the data points that has happiness index greater than seven and country name starts with alphabet c right so here it already provided the answer but let me run this again so if it provides or not the country that has the happiness index greater than seven and it starts with the letter c is canada if we go and look the data here c is it starts with china and the next one is canada and here is 17800 but the happiness index is 7.3 here and this is five so it gets the answer from from the data itself so now let's go with the chart so chart with pandas ai so here i'm just writing pandas.ai run i pass the data frame plot the histogram of countries showing for each the gdp using different colors for each bar so as you can see here it actually provides although it says that i'm sorry but there is no answer to the question provided for some reason but it actually provides the chart for us i did run some other questions also i will just show you here and you can even do the pie chart so plot the pie chart of countries showing for each gdp using different colors for each bar so it actually goes to the data and provides the pie chart this is really good because when i tried with different llms they didn't actually provide the right kind of charts although they provide the charts the chart were not that good but in this case it seems that pandas ai provides good chart for us and again here i just want to have the horizontal bars and it actually provides the horizontal bar so that is all how it works with that data that the pandas ai provided right but what i also want to do is also load the titanic data set and just see how it performs with the different data set just to give you the high level idea that it can understand with the different kinds of data i will provide this notebook in the description of this video so you can just clone this or run this in the google collab so what i'm doing here is downloading the titanic data set so i am using wget command and i'm downloading from my own github repository and then i'm passing d of titan equals to pd.read csp and once this wget command is executed it will download here like titanic data set the csp as you can see here so what i'm doing here is just reading that particular titanic data set and let's see what is the top five rows so yeah it provides that there is some kind of columns related to titanic data set and now i'm asking display all the columns of the df so let's see if it displays or not so that is how you can quickly go and ask questions by the way yeah it provides that okay there are the different columns here and i just want to do the count plot so okay pandas ai dot run titanic data set and plot the count plot of survived column based on provided data frame so you can see here it goes and plot the chart for us and what i did also is if it understand different kind of charts i did ask the question plot the uh, violin plot of p class and age you can see here is the p class its passenger class one two three and the age column so it actually provides the good information and you can even go one step further and ask okay plot the violin of p class and age with hue survived so it will also provide you different kind of information and as i said before also you need to be really careful with the prompt because that is the thing that language model actually understand right so here is the question i asked 
plot the bar plot of P class and H column with the sex column. And it didn't actually provide the answer for me. It says that there is no file.csp or something like that. But then I use the same prompt and I just pass here, as you can see here, from provided DF. I just add that in the end of the prompt. And now it provides me the result. So it says here the answer. So that is how the prompt things works because you need to be really careful how you ask the question for the language model because if you be more specific it will understand what it needs to be done right so yeah that's all i want to show you although there are many many ai tools that are being released each and every day some of them have some different functionality right so this one it has the chart functionality it can be really good for those who don't have that much of the coding experience because they can just do some lines of code and just ask the questions as they want into the data frame so the data frame as i said before also it can be anything right because if i just go here and say pd that is the pandas dot if i just type read and it will show us what are the different things we can read right yeah as you can see here we can read the csv we can even read the clipboard actual file feather fwf sdf html json parquet pickle sas sql you, you you name it all the things are here why i am showing you this is because if you have any of those file formats you can read those into the pandas data frame and you can use pandas ai on top of pandas data frame so this is one example and if you are more into the application development kind of things and if you want to use the lang chain i have created this video about chat csv you can just tweak this code it is in the github for your particular use cases and then you can upload or you can work with any kind of data set you want yeah that's all for this video i hope you find it helpful thank you for watching and see you in the next video